hey there everyone now in this lecture we are going to talk about pagination so how to implement pagination in prisma why pagination is important so everything we are going to cover in this lecture so first of all like what is pagination so if you go into the database inside this article table you can see that we have around uh, 27 articles so it's like not ideal to return all the articles in a single response Consider a scenario where this table like grows and grows that much where it has millions of records. So obviously it's not ideal to uh, traverse through the complete table and return all the articles in a single response. That will be not very network efficient as well as uh, if you remember, like if you little bit of, if you are little bit aware about database queries. So select everything from articles. This is the worst query that you can perform on any table. So select everything is the worst query because it requires a full table traversal inside of instead of index traversal so if you're a little bit aware of indexes so how index works so you will get that so we have two types of like not two but more but on a larger picture let's consider we have two types of traversal well, one is the index traversal and one is the complete table traversal so obviously index traversal is very much efficient as complete to the as compared to the table traversal so select everything means uh, the database full database table needs to be scanned and that's a very slow process so that's why we need some sort of pagination so in pagination we return chunk of response like chunk of articles in a single response so for example first in first query we are returning first five articles and in the next query we are returning next five articles so that's how uh, the pagination is performed so we have seen on many websites uh, in, in the bottom there with there they have like page numbers like one two three and four and per page they show 10 or maybe 20 results so that's a simple example of how pagination works so we are going to implement it so i have created a simple route which is slash articles so we are going to fetch the articles now how pagination works let's consider the scenario the page number scenario we have one two three four four pages and we want to return five articles per page so on the front end we want to show five articles per pages so in the prisma to make the pagination work we have to pass two arguments one is the skip and one is take so what is skip is a skip basically tells prisma to skip x number of rows from starting and take is basically how many rows you want to return so for example in the first page this value of skip will be zero because we don't want to skip any rows from the beginning and take will be five so we want to display five results so from the beginning return five results now moving to the page number two the value of skip will be five and the value of take will be constant throughout the pagination so prisma will skip first five rows because they are already being shown on page number one and then it will return next five rows so i hope you got the idea of how pagination works so this is also famously called as limit of such pagination in various ORMs in Django or maybe in other like SQLize type ORM. So we call it as uh, limit of set pagination. Sorry, yeah, limit of set pagination. So the query looks something like this. So we have a base URL and then the articles. And then inside the query params, we pass skip is equal to some number let's say five and take is equal to five so this is how the url looks like and this is the same way like we are going to work here as well so let's try to implement this okay so what we are going to do is we are going to say const result is equal to await prisma dot article dot we are obviously going to find many and inside find many we are going to pass two arguments one is a skip sorry my phone rang and one is take so inside this skip we want to extract uh, this value from query params so what we will do is we'll say request dot query dot and we'll say take sorry uh, it's a skip and in the same way, we will say in the take, we will say is request dot query dot take. So let's try to return this response dot JSON. We'll say result. 
So let's see what it returns. So if you go into the postman, create a separate route of articles, let hit send. And you can see that since we have not provided any sort of uh, query params here, so it's returning all the articles. Now let's provide some, uh, we will say, skip is equal to zero. Let's start with page number one. Take is equal to five. Let's hit send. So it's giving some error. So what's the error is, let's go into the terminal. Got invalid, okay. So by default, uh, this is returned as a string. So to convert this into number, we just need to add a plus sign here. So I guess it should work now. Yeah, so it's working. So now you can see that only five articles are returned from ID 15 to ID 19. Now let's change the value of skip. So skip five and take 10 and hit send. You can see that next five articles are returned. So you have to write this custom logic on the front end as well, like which values to be sent here. So you can like fetch the rows based on these values. So this is how pagination works. And like uh, matured frameworks like in Django, they have page number pagination as well. So in the URL, you just need to pass the page, for example, two, and inside the Django configuration or the which framework you are using, you have to configure the page. So how many re response you want to return per page. So for example, it's 20. So obviously it will skip first 40 and then, sorry, first 20 and then return the next 20. So some framework support this as well. But here we have this skip and take pagination. So I hope uh, it makes sense. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the discussion. Uh, I'll be happy to answer all your questions. So now let's see you in the next lecture. Thanks.